obviously disappointed uh, with not being able to close out that game, uh, especially with our, it, it, our, our inability to get a defensive rebound in the last three minutes uh, and then to commit in a four-point game um, back-to-back fouls. Uh, Chris wanting to broad jump from the foul line over everybody. Uh, so now, not only do you miss the point on the free throw, but now he's out of the game with four fouls. And then you give him two easy free throws. We're a very good free throw shooting team. We're lucky they're missing free throws today. Uh, <coughs> uh, and then you come down and, you know, CD's on the baseline wide open and Sonny tries to throw him a bullet pass. It hits him dead in the hands and he doesn't catch it. And then he grabs the guy. So, uh, you know, it's uh, they're they're a very good basketball team. and. Uh, we tried hard, but we, uh, uh, we, we, we couldn't figure out how to close out the game. And that, that's disappointing because it, it wasn't the ability to make shots or prevent them from getting shots. It was our inability to get defensive rebounds and then just committing horrendous fouls. On the, on, and not even on defense, just horrendous fouls on, on defensive rebounds for them. Frank, uh, PJ had another big game, but did you sense any frustration for him that, that he wasn't getting a lot of help from uh, a scoring perspective? I don't think he's running around worried about that. He's trying to win the game. You know, he's, he's in those timeouts telling the guys, yo, man, it's good. The next play, the next play, that's going to work. I, he's not sitting in the timeout pouting because, you know, other guys are missing shots. I mean, I, that's, that's not the way our team works. He's... Uh, He's engaged to go make a play to win, and, and he did everything he could to help us win today. Uh, you called your last time out uh, right before Clemson took their free throws. What's the thought process there? What, what did you tell the guys in the timeout? And if you could kind of walk us through that, that last uh, You talking about the very last possession? Yes. Yeah, I, I told them in a one or a two-point game, we had a play design that we'd run late in the game. Uh, if it would have been three-point game, PJ was going to be the trail. And we're going to set a, a – if I tell you the play, then I guess the next team will be prepared. But everything was around getting P.J. and Dwayne in action. And uh, um, uh, he missed the second free throw. And then what we said before we broke the timeout, I said in a one- or two-point game, still run to the same spots, and we just got to drive that to the rim. You know, P.J. made a decision. To, he had a guy that's eight inches shorter than him. So he could, you know, he can pop up and see the rim. And uh, he took a chance, took that three to win it, and just didn't go in. Frank, you mentioned, I think, uh, at the U.S. or maybe the Seton Hall game, you, you challenged Dwayne a little bit, then kind of let him alone at USF. What do you say to him after this game, uh, after another poor night? Nothing. What am I going to do? You know, he's Dwayne. Dwayne is a uh, uh, rock solid dude. You know, I'm not disappointed in his today inability to make shots. It'd be nice if he made shots. It helps us tremendously. Uh, I'm disappointed on back-to-back -back plays where he does not box out. Uh, and one of them, they get the offensive rebound put back. The other one, it's a scramble, and he ends up, and he just kind of throws P.J. a lazy pass that they steal and score. I'm disappointed on those plays. The, the shot making, it'd be nice. They're a good defensive team. It's hard to shoot the ball against them, and people get locked in on him. So, uh, you know, we, we got to find someone else to, to help help on the perimeter right now. You know, that's going to be our mission here as we go into Christmas. Any more what did you see out of Mike tonight? And, and uh, it, was that a knee? What was kind of his, his injury ailment? Cramping up, third time, third time this year he cramps up towards the end of a game. You know, he, he didn't play real well. He, he he had no energy to start the game, which was it's a problem with first year guys. You know, you don't know how they're going to react. They get nervous. Mike 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 cares a lot, so he he gets a little wound up and gets a little nervous about things. You know, but he came out the second half and gave us tremendous energy, tremendous enthusiasm. Uh, you know. And, he was pretty good defensively. I mean, he's guarding Jerron Blossom game most of the game. You know, Blossom is a pretty good player. I think Mike did a, a, a pretty darn good job while he was on him. You know, fifth-year senior, true freshman. Um, uh, him cramping up obviously um, hurt us. You know, we, we, we lost a, a, a score passer facilitator 
from one of those big spots, let alone, you know, uh, I, I'm sure you guys watch a game while it's being played. If him and Chris are not in there, we lose our post, low post presence. Uh, so that's, that's something we got to get better at. 43 fouls uh, tonight between the two teams. Is it hard to get into a rhythm that way? And, and did you see 43 fouls out there tonight? Yeah, if referees called the right fouls. There's two teams that are both good, both going at each other. Very physical game. Uh, referees did an unbelievable job. That that that's, that's part of the deal, you know. It, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I I sit around. And I hear all these talking heads around the country. I guess they're very intelligent. I'm, I'm sure they they had high IQs and tremendous SATs and co you know to go to college. And I'm sure they all graduated magna cum laude. But all they do is criticize that we have too many timeouts. I was at a high school game yesterday. There were seven timeouts taken in the last minute and a half of the game. But we have too many timeouts. I, you watch an NBA game on TV, the last two minutes is an hour and a half. But in college, we, have, we micromanage in college. We coach too much, take too many timeouts. I'm tired of people, not you, John, you're asking the right question. It's not, it's the, the national, that there's too many fouls being called. There's fouls called in high school games. There's fouls called in the NBA. It's part of the deal. You get two good teams going at each other. Neither one wants to lose. You got some freshmen that are at being asked to play a little harder than they've ever had to play before. They're going to commit some fouls. I, I, thought the, I thought the officials called the game the right way. You know, uh, we, we, we just couldn't, couldn't get a defensive rebound. The, the, the game wasn't decided on you know, fouls. It just, we got a four-point lead with three to play. And we can't get three consecutive defensive rebounds. And if we get one of those, doesn't mean we win. But maybe we go up six. Maybe we go up seven. Who knows? You know, it's uh, disappointing.